Hello friends! I hope that you've been well. We are entering my third studio vlog and I gotta say it is sort of random because I had started filming stuff way back in April and then did a tiny bit in May and then basically just like dropped off for most of June and uh, then started picking up vlogging again in July. So it's sort of a bit of a mishmash. Uh, I do try, I try to stream it together as best as I could. And so hopefully it isn't too jarring or weird. I am very, still very much new to vlogging and that kind of thing, but I, I do generally enjoy doing it when I'm in the mood for it. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. So what to look forward to this vlog? I pack some shop orders. I, because it was such a long duration of time, I then closed my shop and then reopened it. I work on tons of Patreon stuff and I also throw in some snippets of me going out and about in my life because I think it's very important to strike that work-life balance and that's something that I am very much trying to get better at and I think it is making a huge difference in lifting up my spirit. You know, I do express some down moments in this, you know, duration of time. So don't worry, I'm doing fine. I'm feeling a lot better now, but you know, I like to be transparent and be honest with how I'm feeling and what's going on. And I hope that you find it relatable and that uh, overall you enjoy this vlog and that I can keep you company. So I will stop talking now and I will let you enjoy the rest of the vlog and I'll see you at the end. Also, yes, I know that this is crooked. This is crooked up here too. Much like a lot of problems in my life, I just am going to ignore it for now and deal with it later. So I just finished packing all of the orders and look at this super precarious stack. It reminds me a lot of the cake in Disney Sleeping Beauty. I just think it's so funny. But now I have to go through all of them and print out the shipping labels. And then I like to put a piece of tape on the back there just so it's extra secure. And then they will be ready to be shipped out tomorrow. Yay! And yeah, here you can see I am adding the water va water activated tape to the backs of all of the packages. I used to use like a spray bottle to wet the backs of them, but I was finding that was just a little bit messy, like I was getting the water everywhere. So now I add water to a sponge that I keep on just a old painting palette and do it that way. And I found that this method is definitely cleaner or at least feels a bit more i have more control over the the backs of the water activated tape i've definitely seen devices that you can buy for this purpose but i feel like this is good enough for me and that way i'm saving money on having to buy a dedicated water activating thing <laughs> I've got my Ikea bag all loaded up with the orders. They're like stacked under there. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take these to the post office. So as you previously saw, I was using craft envelopes, but I was finding that the my do not bend stamp was not 
very clear on the craft. Like the ink just didn't sit on it very well and it would bleed and feather and it just wasn't very legible. And so I went ahead and switched over to these white envelopes and I found that the stamps look way more legible and a lot cleaner. The downside is that they do take a moment to dry because the surface is a little bit coated. But anyway, I think it looks really satisfying seeing them all lined up here and I, you know, I just put on a podcast or a live stream while I go ahead and stamp all of them. So those of you who have been following me for a while, you'll know that for the past number of months on my Patreon page, I offer a print and sticker reward. And obviously I try to order a little bit extra just to be safe. And also I both the sticker manufacturer and the place I get my prints from, they always end up sending me extras as well. So I have a large overstock of a lot of the months here and I have been just sort of sitting on them for a little while because I wanna make sure I hang on to some of them in case one of my patrons, you know, it, theirs gets damaged or it doesn't make it to them for whatever reason. So I can send them out a new one. Not that that happens very often, but just in case. But obviously there is like a lot of them, a lot of extras. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack a bunch of them up. So I'm going to pack like the print and then it's corresponding sticker in these little glass scene sleeves, similar to how I do my usual patron mail and uh, list them up on my shop so that uh, more people have an opportunity to take these home with them. Like this is definitely another perfect example of having to endure the ugly phase or the ugly stages because it's just so chaotic looking and the whole time I was thinking to myself like this looks terrible but because I had went into it with the mindset of this is just meant to be a study this is meant for a learning um, this is just meant for learning I So can I just say, look, this is a normal, this is a much more realistic look into what my studio space is actually like. It is always so freaking chaotic. I am such a disorganized person and I have it all tidied up when I film stuff for all of you, but I just wanted to, uh, yeah, just give you guys a little bit of a perspective of what uh, it often ends up looking like because I'm always trying to do like six tasks at once and yeah, it's crazy. But also as a side note, I got a new rug. How freaking cute is it? I am obsessed with rainbows right now, obviously, and I couldn't resist this big rainbow area rug. It is also very plush, super, super soft. I'm in love with it. All right, so I recently purchased a couple of things from a couple different artists and I thought I'd show you guys what I got. So this is from, and can we just talk about, this packaging is absolutely incredible. I'm so sad to ruin it. 
All right. Well, I think there's no other way except to cut it. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we've got these these two here, which are insanely cute. Oh, I can't deal with it. It's so precious. Oh. And then the next thing I got is from Alba and they recently came out with a tarot card deck. Not, I'm not familiar with tarot card reading, but I couldn't resist the artwork. I just really love Alba's work and I felt like this was a, you know, a good opportunity to potentially teach myself how to do some tarot card reading and also own their beautiful artwork and yeah the illustrations are just so gorgeous so inspiring i'm really blown away this is probably this was probably you know a lot of work and uh they they turned out gorgeous <laughs> Back in April, I became Dessert's brand ambassador, which is a Canadian art supply company. And so I went ahead and picked up some of their markers to try out in a video. And if you are interested, I have the full process of me working on these pages on my channel already under the title, How I Deal with Art Block. Hello, it's been a while since I've done any vlogging of any sort and I just wanted to pop in and kind of give y'all an update. I The reason why I haven't really been vlogging that much is just because I haven't really been in the mood to. I've been feeling pretty down. I think that a lot of it just has to do with the pandemic really just really like taking its toll on me, which I'm sure it is for many of you as well. Basically my mindset for the past while has just been like, Existing is exhausting. Yeah, so I've been I've been trying to trying to be kind to myself, you know, find ways to cheer myself up. And one of those things is watching and reading a lot of media. I have been watching Naruto Shippuden, which has been so fun. Uh, I just started watching Shadow and Bone on Netflix and I'm really enjoying it. I've never read the books before, but I know a lot of buzz has been around the TV show coming out and I think the book series is quite popular as well. So I've been really enjoying that. I'm up about halfway through and been reading a ton of webtoons uh, as usual, like I had mentioned in the previous vlog as well. Oh, also, I can't believe I forgot, forgot to mention, I also started watching Skate the Infinity. I'm not quite done yet. I've got like three chapters or three episodes left and it's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. It's like so over the top and campy and I love it. I think this particular series, I think has been like a perfect therapeutic thing because it's like so like silly and over the top and whatever. And it really like helps like distract me from my day-to-day <laughs> -day life. So I've been really enjoying that. It's so ridiculous um so so cute and uh yeah i've been yeah just chugging away i really want to make more merchandise so hopefully i can get my shit together and start that so i have like a huge list of things i want to do it's just a matter of like actually motivating myself to do those things which has been the issue that i've been having lately so fingers crossed i also really want to just do more fan art because again that's just something that's like brings me a lot of joy and makes me happy so but yeah, anyway, just wanted to pop in, show off this cute look that I got going here and give you all an update on what I've been up to. Um, hopefully I'm gonna do a little bit more vlogging now. I think I'm starting to feel a little bit more like uh, motivated, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wearing makeup every day. Used to rush to work and have no time for fun and spend half of my life on full highways. Then the world closed down, stuck inside this town, home with the family, all new reality, four walls and a door, nothing's like before.
connection. So let's just keep it simple. There's so much we can do. So as I get new merchandise, I knew I needed to have a better way of utilizing the space on this shelving unit to just have a more efficient way of storing all the merchandise and just for it to look more organized. And so shout out to my friend for helping me do the math on the pieces for this shelving unit and so i literally am just using mighty core foam board and a hot glue gun it's you know a pretty janky job here but at this point i was just i just want it to be functional it didn't have to be pretty and yeah the studio was looking pretty crazy so Here's a time lapse of me slowly cleaning and organizing. And while the organization of merchandise on that shelving unit is a work in progress, I am excited to finally be getting just a better usage out of it. So after I finished building it, I have these cardboard bins that I purchased from Uline and I got the idea for these guys from Catnip and I realized that they were a little bit snug fitting into the shelving unit. And so I was like, that's not gonna be very efficient for when I wanna slide them in and out. And I was a little bit worried because I'd already, you know, built this thing, but I realized uh, I could find a solution. And so this little lip on the top is the reason why they were getting so, you know, getting snagged. And so I realized that I could just cut these pieces off and then tape them closed because that was just extra cardboard that wasn't fully necessary. And eventually they actually ended up fitting perfectly. And I'm really happy that I was able to think of this solution. <laughs> Thank you so much to FlexiSpa for sending me the all-in-one desk bike. I am really excited to have this for when I'm doing more like idle work, especially packing Patreon orders and stamping my envelopes and things like that, where it's very repetitive and very straightforward. And I think that, you know, I'm definitely someone who likes to multitask. So being able to bike while also packing the Patreon Rewards, I think, will be a great way to to uh, to kill two birds with one stone, especially since, you know, I work from home and I'm often in one place for long durations of time. And while I do have their standing desk as well, which I love now with the added benefit of being able to switch from sitting and standing and moving on a bike, I think that's amazing. And the fact that they also have um, the little desk that attaches to it as well, makes it really versatile if I wanna move it to the living room and you know watch Netflix or whatever, watch movies while I ride the bike. So very, very versatile, really excited to have this. So if you're interested in checking out FlexiSpot, head to the link in my description for $15 off your purchase. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sending me this new bike. Hello, I thought that I'd pop in and 
say hello and update you all of what I've been up to these past two months. Uh, obviously, I've still been uploading fairly regularly to YouTube with my usual art content. I've been doing my Patreon page and sort of been pretty slow in the actual art making department. I think that I speak for a lot of us in the sense that the pandemic has been tough uh, in a number of ways. And I think that I, while very grateful for the fact that I can have my own business and do art full time, I do think that I've just felt really unmotivated, haven't really been feeling really in the art mood uh, for a lot of this little while. So I've been just trying to occupy and spend time doing other things to try and find some kind of spark, I guess, uh, outside of my career. Uh, so I've been attempting to learn Japanese, which has been quite fun. I don't think I'm going to be very good at it, but it's been pretty fun. And I've been watching a lot of anime, reading a lot of webtoons and manga and manhwas. And uh, now that it's summertime and the city is getting uh, a higher percentage of people being vaccinated, I've been able to actually see some friends and go outside. <laughs> And yeah, here is some photos that I've been taking while being out and about, you know, just trying to live my life outside of work. And it's been pretty nice. I wonder what you are doing in a city park riding or better yet. You know I bet you're at home cooking I wonder what you are wearing A cable knit sweater you pair with Corduroy slacks, wait I take that back You might be more daring I've been over every detail For those of you who saw my post, I had asked all of you if you wanted a discord for patreon or you preferred the live streams and but it looks like a lot of people uh do like to watch them after the fact or passively um to keep you company while you're working on stuff so i am going to keep doing the live streams For the past little while, I've been trying to work a lot in this mixed media sketchbook that I've had since 2016. I know, so old. I have a very bad habit of not finishing sketchbooks and so I'm really determined to try and finish this one and I'm actually very close. So I'm going to be doing a video showing how I filled up the rest of this sketchbook and then I will finally be doing a sketchbook tour. And we're back. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the vlog. I see you. I appreciate you for showing up to the whole thing. And shout out to Chris for giving me her blessing to be included in my vlog. She is a very lovely person. And I will say, if you're not already familiar with her, definitely check her out. She has an amazing YouTube channel and Instagram. I will put her handle up on the screen here. Check her out. She's really, really incredible. And 
Shout out to you for supporting me on my YouTube channel. And thank you so much to everyone who has ordered things from my shop and extra, extra, extra shout out to all my patrons who literally support my career as an artist. And I am just so thankful for that. So thank you so much. And I hope that you had fun. I hope that I was able to keep you company and I shall uh, see you in the next one. Bye.